they call me. All right, here we go with chapter 10, Unfinished Business, Yakuza 3, which your boy hero they call me. Let's see what kind of bullshit we're going to get into today. If it's going to be a chapter that lasts 30 minutes or 300 hours, we'll find out shortly. <laughs> Yoshitaki? That's not how you say that. Hey, Dad. Where have you been? Do you know how late it is, young man? Yoshitaka, by the way. I wanted to say his name properly. Um, me and my friends were playing baseball. Oh, that's all it was? Here, I was worrying you'd run away. Hey, listen to this. I got the best grade in my class on our test today. Excuse me. Wow, I always knew you were a bright kid. Guys, let me play too. Yeah, right. You don't even have a bad glove. There's no room in our game for poor orphanage trash. Jesus. All right. We're a bunch of shitlords. Dad. Get up, please. How's he in an orphanage if he has a dad? Yoshitaka. Dad. Yoshitaka. It doesn't even sound like he's saying Yoshitaka. Listen to me. I always knew you were the smart one. Don't put that brain to waste. Make something of yourself. Dad. I'm so sorry. Can't be there for you. Alright, so this guy's got issues. Who is it? Katasi, sir. I don't know how that's pronounced, but whatever. Like how he just has a picture of himself as a kid, though. How weird is that? Come in. I'm assuming that's him, anyways. Apologies if I interrupted anything. Not a picture of his dad, a picture of himself. I booked your flight to Okinawa. At least from Hanada in an hour and a half. Now let's go. Chairman? What is it? She's got these big old titties. Never <laughs> mind, it's nothing. I've just, you've been working yourself awfully hard lately. If something happened to you, I would have to find a new job. Don't give me that look. I'll be fine. Immediately dies the second he walks out the door. <laughs> oh, well, that was weird. After investigating the incident which took place yesterday at the National Diet Building, authorities are convinced it came about the hands of a group opposing the Okinawa Military Expansion Bill. As we speak, patrols are on high alert in search of those behind the incidents. I turn that off? Of course. Damn it. Looks like getting down to Okinawa is not going to be as easy as we thought, huh? We? Sorry, Date-san. But I need to do this alone. What? Well, mine's, uh, mine is going to have an army of guys down there. Going without any backup is like signing your... Dude, I just beat them all by myself and let you run away, remember? That's got a point, Kiru-chan. You ask me, we send in some of my boys. Rough some people up. Make sure nobody ever thinks about laying a hand on you. Look, I'll be fine on my own. Why are you being so stubborn about this? The only reason I've gotten this far uh, involved is so I can make sure Morning Glory is safe. I care about Daigo and the Tojo clan, yeah. But when push comes to shove, the Sokanawa fight is mine and mine alone. Not anymore, it ain't. Not with the CIA and those ha Hakuhu thugs turning the place all topsy-turvy. It'll be okay. I have friends down there. Huh? The Ryudu family. If I'm going to be s settling a fight in Okinawa, I want to do it with the Okinawa natives by my side. Oh. Are you sure about it, that, Kira-chan? 100%. Suppose that's that, then. So, what, you're just gonna give up, Majima? Kira-chan's a big, stubborn ox, not changing his mind. He's like that when he's like this, Tate-san. You should know uh, that better than anyone. Even so, I... Kira-chan, the Majima family it will keep the lights on over at Tojo HQ while you're gone. Go do what you gotta do, yeah? Thank you, Majima-san. Alright. I guess we're going back to Okinawa. 
you ever heard uh, need a hand or a hundred from the Majima family, just give me a ring. We'll be down there before you can even hang up the phone. Thanks, Michisan, but I think I'll be okay. Hmm, just don't let Mini or those CIA assholes get the better of you, you hear me? You're not allowed to go down until I bring you down myself. Boy walks like a fucking tank in this game, man. Alright, uh, another text message, probably from that guy that wants me to take pictures. I don't really give a shit about that, but we'll check to make sure. Nice work, you sound. I'm really grateful that you agreed to catch the hitman in Okinawa. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wanted to let you know the HLA office in Okinawa received info on a hitman in downtown in Ryukyu. When you're in the downtown Ryukyu, stop by the Ryukyu Shogi under the monorail station. One of my men there will find you and fill you in with the details. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Checking to see if I have any side missions. I don't. So, yeah, we're going back to Okinawa. I'm going to upgrade while we're here. We have 69 to upgrade. Can barely upgrade anything with that, but, you know, it is what it is. Wow, okay, I'm just, I just teleport to Okinawa, that's cool. I promised uh, Tammy I'd save Toma from Joji Kazama and the CIA. First things first, I'll need to find Toma. Though I want to stop by the orphanage first. The kids will be thrilled to know I'm back in town. I don't want to stop by the orphanage though. Another goddamn message? Why does it always say I can have upgrades? Like, I, I, I realize that. I'm, I'm aware. Uh, this is Mac, right? This is the guy that wants me to take pictures. I, uh, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, so we have two sub-stories right now. I'm gonna go do this one down this way real quick. It is down this way. It is, okay. And I guess we'll go back to the orphanage after we do the sub-stories and check if there's any sub-stories with the orphanage, because there probably is. Hang out and do all that. God damn it. All right, here's the sub-story. I'm assuming it's in here, the public market. It's usually where, it, yep, indeed it is. It's you! You're part of the Yuda family, aren't you? Uh, what? Boy, am I glad to see you. I can't handle this alone, so I was thinking of asking Nakahara-san a favor. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm not in the Ryoto family. Uh, but I could have sworn I saw you step into Nakahara-san's office the other day with uh, Rikia-kun and his pal. Well, I can't deny that. And you and Nakahara-san are at least acquainted, right? Yeah. I have a big favor to ask you. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna like this, but go ahead. First off, my name's Takashi Kian, and I run the public market here. Lately, they have been, there have been some black market deals going down here. It's been causing us some trouble. Black market? What kind of deals exactly? Iromote wildcat trafficking. Cats? That's right. The Iromote wildcat is an endangered species protected by law, and it's only found in Okinawa. You dedicated collectors are willing to pay dealers insane amounts of money for it. Have they been making deals here in your market? That's right. But I don't have the expertise needed to bring these criminals just on my own. I want you contact the police? I can't do that. If I get the law involved and they figure out there are shady deals going on my market, they'll shut us down for days. Think all the business we lose. I won't have it. As the public market's president, I have to get this solved without closing us down. I see. I'd be willing to pay you for your trouble. Be really help uh, helping us out, helping out the locals. What do you say? All right. All right, I'll help. Thank you. So what exactly do I have to do? Actually, my biggest suspect is one on the second floor as we speak. You already got a, su a suspect picked out? Yes, he's a fat man with a green hat and a red Hawaiian shirt. He always shows up in those clothes whenever a uh, Yeromote wildcat deal is going down. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. A fat man with a green hat and a red Hawaiian shirt. Anything else you should know? Yes, he's always carrying a big cage. A cage? You know, like a carrier? The kind of people carry pets in? Probably keeps the wildcats in there. All I have to do is look into the cage to know if he's guilty, right? Well, you'd think so, but I thought I caught him red-handed once when I looked in the cage. It was empty. Empty, yeah? He caught him after the deal had already gone down. Could be, but there's no point in catching the bastard without any evidence. Please, catch him before he makes a deal. Got it. Good luck to you. I'll be already waiting right here. So we'll go uh, pick up the most obvious man ever. Fat dude, red Hawaiian shirt and a green hat. <laughs> Guy with a red Hawaiian shirt. What the? What the? And a green hat. You dingus. You guys are the same shirt. Which one is a criminal? I have to pick one based on their features. It's this one. Hmm? What? You're the one making your Emote Wildcat deals or what? Haha, <laughs> without proof. You ain't got shit on me, pal. You got proof? Show me proof. That cage you got there. There's your Emote Wildcat stuff in there, right? Are you on crack, numb nuts? There's nothing in this cage. Take good luck. He's right, it's empty. It doesn't look like there's any, uh, he's already made any transactions. Happy now, fuck off. Alright. How about you? Hey, buddy, huh? Do you need something? 
still making your monthly wildcat deals or what? Your monthly wildcats? What the hell are you accusing me of? They're a protected species, you know? Wait a minute, I heard on the news some shady middleman was making illegal deals. That wouldn't be you now, would it? Never mind, sorry to bother you. No, it's not me. <sighs> Kira-san, can't you do this without riling up my customers? I'm sure the man had a red... Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just seeing, man. Goddamn. Batman green hat, red white shirt, yeah. Well, how am I supposed to figure out things? I probably saw a key up here. Am I going crazy? I did. How do I go back into this? There you go. Take that. Should I just beat him up? I feel like that would work. Uh, I don't need proof. <laughs> the fuck you don't, buddy? If I start a commotion here with you, your partner's going to come running. Then I catch him and it's all over. Get the fuck out of here, man. You... Hey, look at that. Look, it looks like your man is right on cue. That shit's too big for you to fuck up, man. I'm gonna grind your ass up into cat food. Doubt. Black market pet broker. I like how I could just say I don't need proof, and it, it's like, all right, no worries. You win. Who am I attacking here? There you go. Have a chair. Oh, I should have take a seat, damn it. I'm gonna get up so I can hit you with this chair. Appreciate you, homie. Oh, God. Update available for the Steam Deck. Yeah, thanks. I'm well aware. Damn it, we're so screwed. Erg, I told you this wasn't a good place to do business. Meow, meow. Just in a bag. Did you hear that? It's a wildcat. That guy in the red shirt was trying to pick up the Iromote wildcat from the cellar here. He was? The real deal is the guy in the cheap suit. It all makes sense now. That's why the cage was empty when I checked the man in the red. You checked before the deal went down. Crap. Anyway, looks like we got two birds with one stone this time. I'd say we made up pretty good. Certainly say so. Thank you so much. It's not enough that you solved this, but you even handled it quietly. Did you hand those thugs over to the cops? I did. The case is already solved, and the cops are willing to wait until after closing hours to investigate. The detective was pretty upset. I didn't report the crime in the first place, though. Sounds like everything turned out okay, and your uh, reputation's still fine. That's right. It's all thanks to you. Take this with my gratitude. 30,000 yen. That paid for my trip over here. Now, thanks to your efforts, the market can run smoothly again. Well, that was easy enough. 30,000 yen and experience. Gotta love that. No other side stories in here or sub stories. Make our way to the next one. Why is it that wherever we're in Okinawa, we got like a billion sub stories too? Is this the fucking translator chick again? Because I'm here for it. It is. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Hey. Oh, you're the man from before. I was watching you work with your magic. It looks like you're pretty well acquainted with that beautiful brunette. I guess so. However, it seems like a language barrier is preventing you two from becoming so close as so close as you could be. Which is why I'll offer you our intermediate handbook for the low, low price of 20,000 yen. Only in Okinawa has that for a local specialty. Intermediate handbook focuses more on direct communication between close friends, even more intermediate, uh, intimate relationships. I'm sure you just got, uh, I'm sure you just gotta have it, right? Now, but 20,000 yen, all right, no problem. I have that money very well. Here's your intermediate handbook. You paid 20,000 yen, you got an intermediate English textbook. Okay, protection is about conversing with a lover. I don't want to go home tonight. I don't deserve your love. That doesn't sound accurate. These are way too cheesy. You'd be a real player if you can chatter up in English, you know? After all, there are some things you can only say in English that can show her how stylish and cultured you are. Our English handbooks only teach you the stuff you need to know, nothing more, nothing less. And the more effort you put into it, the more you'll get out of it, guaranteed. By the way, I hear a lot of foreigners hang out at a bar in uh, uh, Hatsumachi called Aqua Sky. Well, as they say in English, have a nice day. Hatsumachi. I don't know where that is on the map. Let's take a little looky. Looksy poo real quick. How do I zoom in? Eh? Do I have buildings in this place? I don't even remember. Uh, Cabaret Club. M Store Hatsumachi. Karaokean. I believe that's what place they want to go to because that is technically a bar so yeah we'll head over there i guess and that's funny i think she i'm pretty positive she said aqua sky and i just ignored it i think this is it here <coughs> sure enough it is i never knew japan could be so lonely who said that who's talking over here i need to sneeze <coughs> Oh, God. A oh, free key. All right. Well, 
Someone, someone was saying Japan was lonely. I don't know who it was. <coughs> Apparently, I'm just gonna sneeze my fucking face off now. Who am I supposed to be interacting with here? I thought it was you. It is you. Okay. It's the one from before. Oh, we met a few times now. Funny how we keep running into each other. I need to blow my nose because I keep sneezing. How about we grab a drink? Could she be inviting me out for a drink? I just like how like English is just so spaced. My name's Stacy. Hi, Stacy. I'm Kiru. Kazuma Kiru. What a name. I wonder what it means. I wish I knew more Japanese. Here goes. You were always so kind to me, Kiru. You always help me when I'm in trouble. You know, Kiru, I don't want to go home tonight. Giggle. He seems to be inviting me somewhere. Unless I'm totally mistaken, there should be some kind of phrase I can say in this situation. It was in the handbook. When someone says they don't want to go home tonight, and they're not drinking with you, and they happen to be a beautiful woman, <laughs> the best thing to say would be, I don't deserve your love. I love you. I love English. I don't deserve your love. I don't deserve your love. But you do, Kiru, more than you know. I'm impressed. You're English. It's amazing. Ever since you helped me, I can only think about you. Nothing but you, Kiru. That's kind of crazy. Here, please accept this. You got an Italian necklace. Okay, the high-end Italian necklace should make a woman happy. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this multi-purpose thumbtack. Will I see you again? I don't know, will you? I like how she's like, I don't want to go home tonight, then immediately leaves. <laughs> Thanks to that handbook, I managed to speak with her in English most of the time, even if it was just winging it. Then I got 3,000 experience. Cool. Oh my god, there's like a fucking sub story like right here. Where is it? Oh, this guy again? God damn it, dude. You're back again? Really? What is it with you? Kira-san, the loan consolidation thing turned out to be a scam, just like you said. They almost got me. Is that so? Good on you for seeing through it. I don't know how you, I can thank you, Kira-san. If you escape that scam, what are you doing back here? A friend of mine, also having debt troubles, he asked if he could borrow just 10,000 yen to help pay them off. I gave it to him as a good friend should. But right after, this friend of mine skipped town. And since I paid 10,000 yen on his loan, the loan company is holding me responsible as a guarantor for my friend's loan. I never even wanted to be his uh, guarantor. Is that how it's pronounced? I've never seen that word before in my life. It's a guarantee, but tour. <laughs> but now they're demanding that I pay off the rest of his loan. What the hell were you thinking? You were about to kill yourself over your own debt? Why would you think you could help your friends with his? Oh, he's in a lot of trouble, and I, of all people, would know how stressful that kind of debt could be. I felt really bad for him. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> hmm, sorry. Oh boy. I can't just abandon him here. I'll cheer you up, him up a bit, then leave. I throw him over the fucking bridge. How about that? Well, good luck. So that's it. You don't have any more advice for me. You're the one who took out those loans. You're just gonna have to figure it out yourself. Uh oh, they're getting up on me too. What do I do now? Oh my god. Let me. Uh, I thought that was the actual right thing to say. Right, I'll go through this again. I can't sit down in here. There you go. <laughs> All right, fine. Just take me on. Uh, take me to the loan shark you borrowed from, and I might be able to do something for you. Really? I'm already too involved, I just can't abandon you now. Thank you so much. The loan shark we borrowed from is just this way. Follow me. Alright, let's see if we can cash some things out. Let me just beat the fuck out of him. It's more accurate. What's up, boys? Oh, if it ain't uh, Kishimoto-san. Come all this way to see me now. I'm touched. Uh -huh. Who do we have here? Haven't seen you around before, Kiryu. You can say I'm friends with yeah. Kishimoto. So what can I do for you? If you want a loan, I'll give you the same rate I gave Kishimoto. 10% every 10 days. Oh, that explains a lot. Don't you think that's a little absurd? Are you trying to pick a fight? I got a problem, buddy. Take you up with the employees. Hey, guys. This man here like to chat with you. All right. Look at this little short shit in his little suit. Want to be ass accused of? Fucking little bastard, man. You want to fucking dance? All right, I am the table. All right, he's about to get slam a jam it. See ya. Who's still alive? Drop kick! <laughs> the partition was almost broken. 
Uh, what's your deal anyways? Did you come here to get a Kishimoto out of his loan? No, I'm trying to get him off the hook. I just wanted you to give him an interest rate he can actually pay back. What? You borrow money, you pay it back. That's how it works. So you wouldn't, uh, wouldn't it be better if you both, if Kishimoto actually paid you back instead of trying to commit suicide or file bankruptcy? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you're right. Also, his friend's loan has nothing to do with him. Let him out of being the guarantor from that loan. After all, he didn't sign anything. It's not like he's legally bound. How do you know so much about these things? Where are you? Some kind of hotshot loan shark yourself? I used to be. You still working a similar line of business now, then I'll be keeping an eye on you. That was easy. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san, thank you truly. I don't know what uh, would have happened to me if I hadn't met you. The loans haven't gone away, you know? You still need to work hard to pay them back. I know. I will. I won't re uh, rest until I paid off every last year on my debt. I'd like to give you something to show my gratitude, but this is all I have, I'm afraid. What is it? Stamina spark. Sure, I'll keep that too. Uh, put the shit away. I don't know why I have all this shit. It hasn't done anything for me, but all right. All right. Any more? Only one sub story. That's surprising because last time I did one, another one appeared. So, oh, well, we got a hey, then. Hello, troubled old man. Well, uh, maybe you heard something about it being in this area. Nope, don't think so. Whatever ended up getting buried all those years ago is probably still on the ground. Besides, isn't the Yamashita treasure just an urban legend? That's well, I suppose there has changed quite a bit over the years. Hmm. Now I'm in a pickle. I need to be heading back to Tochigi next week, and I have no idea where to look next. Doesn't that suck? Something wrong, old timer? Can't help it over here, yeah. Oh, well, I'm actually on a search. Treasure hunt's more like it. Treasure hunt, really? Why, sure. Here, take a look and see. I've got, I've got me a map and everything. How'd this end up in your hands? Had it this whole time. See this map uh, to the treasure my friends and I buried while we were stationed in Okinawa during the war. Okay, and what was this treasure? It was, well, we were being uh, evacuated at the time, so we buried whatever we could, uh, couldn't could carry to lighten the load. Wait, you never heard of this one? The story of Yamashita treasure? You know, all the gold that the army buried? Well, this map has the location of that very same treasure. We all said we'd come dig it up after the war, but we got so caught up in the, uh, I guess you call it the aftermath, that we never made it back to what was ours. Now, I know I ain't got much time left in this world, but the thought of claiming the treasure still haunts me. Please, will you help me? an old man find his lost fortune? It's right here on this map, I swear. I swear it, or I'm as good as dead. I'll help you out, why not? Treasure hunting does sound like a nice division. Or diversion, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'll help you find what you're looking for. Many thanks, young man. Once we find the treasure, I'll make sure you get your share. Well then, here's a copy of the map. Let's split up and search. Name's Tabayashi, by the way, and I'll give you my cell phone number. And give me a call if you find anything here. Got it. I'm here, by the way, so all I have to do is follow this map. Mm -hmm. Make sure to call me when you find the treasure, too. Don't go pulling any fast ones. I gotta find fucking treasure. Uh, where is it? I'm assuming it's in my items and then over to the right. I can't remember how to get there. This is it here. Uh, near the river. I'm assuming that's what that is. And around the bend. Let's look at the map. That's the river here. I believe. So, somewhere somewhere on the river. I'm just going to run down the river like an asshole until I find it. Okay, I believe it's in here, if I'm not mistaken. I'll take a look. According to the map, it should be somewhere around here. I'll give Tabi Tabayashi a call to let him know. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I actually had to press start to call him or something. Ugh, <laughs> uh, goodness. Uh, hello, this is Tabayashi speaking. Hello, Tabayashi, how are you? It's Kiru, you know, the place that marked on the map you gave me? Well, I found somewhere just like it. You did? Well, where is it? It's in a parking lot, and I had to match it near the, uh, Karako- I, I can't say that. Karokikikan. <laughs> you can't miss it. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'll be right there. That's not how that's pronounced, but whatever. Just fucking shit. So, here, yes, this is the uh, Kabochi River, and this is the big street, then, yep, this is the place. Wait a second now, it's all coming back to me. Yes, I'm starting to remember where we buried it. The treasure ought to be right behind this parking lot. We'll go, well, I'll go take a look, and maybe nobody's dug it up yet. Doubt. They built that area up, they definitely dug it up. Could this, could this Yamashita treasure really exist? I guess we're about to find out. It's just fucking porn. That's all it is. Well, did you find anything? Yeah, there's a vacant lot behind this parking lot, and I found these buried under a statue there. Oh, it's money. These are a bunch of letters. That's what the Yamashita treasures? Oh no, to be honest, this ain't the Yamashita treasure at all. They're letters from soldiers to their families uh, that I left here during the war. 
were you doing with a bunch of letters? Well, you see, during the war, I was too young and frail to be sent out to the front lines. Instead, I worked as a postman for the soldiers fighting here in Okinawa. And the only thing we, uh, what kept our spirits alive throughout all the death and dying were these letters, both uh, to and from the loving families who were waiting to return. Then the war turned too ugly for us to handle, so we pulled out of Okinawa and never looked back. I couldn't bring myself to send these sorrowful letters written by sons who sacrificed themselves in a war effort. Instead, I buried them here and left the left like a coward. I never delivered those soldiers' final words to their families, and the guilt's been hanging over my head for a long time now. So that's what this is all about. I'm sorry. The whole search for the Yamashita treasure was a lie. Hope you can find your heart to forgive me. Don't worry about it. I'm curious as to what you'll do with those letters now that you have them. Hmm. I know a lot of time's gone by, but I'd still like to deliver these to the family of the deceased all gone. They're probably all dead, bro. Once I do that, I'd finally be able to put the war behind me. I see. I'll give you what was uh, buried with the letters. It's old, but I bet a man like you could still use it. Antique chain mail, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, let's put away the binding. Sure, why not? Well, this very well might be the last one. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, you're the man from before. It looks like you're getting pretty friendly with that. Yes, yeah, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You've been watching us? That's not what's important. What really matters is your heart. Listen to... Listen, you'd like to be more intimate with a female companion in more ways than one, right? So, why not? 50,000. Pretty sure this title says it all, if you want to know what I mean. So, will you take the plunge and witness your love change forever? Or are you being done, or bone, or are you fine being bone dry? I'll buy the love handbook, why not? I have the money. Mm, nice and crisp. Well, here's a love handbook. It's pra uh, practically a conversational karma sutra. I have a feeling that this is just all bullshit. And this is how they get desperate men to buy their shit. Okay, here it is. Conver conversing in the bedroom. Why don't you come to my room? Let's make sweet, passionate love. Or you get too excited. Remember, whatever, whatever she gives you, yes or no, it depends on how smooth you are. Hehe. <laughs> Our English handbooks give you exactly what you need to know. You can be the lover you tr uh, truly meant to be. Now, I hope you enjoy the course. And as we say in English, have a nice day. I don't know where she is. She didn't give me any indication of where she might be, and she's not on the map. So we're just gonna do the main story, and maybe we'll come across her eventually. Didn't he say he had a guy here waiting for me? Near the staircase? I don't fucking know. You see, I don't wanna save the game. I'm, where the hell am I going? Oh, back to the orphanage. That's where I'm going. Uh, morning glory station, please. More emails. Oh my god, what the fuck? There's someone in the water over there. Uh, email. Back again. I don't fucking care, bro. I'm not doing your shit. It's just not fun. Oh. Cutscene. They're all dying. Hello. What are you guys playing? Dodgeball? Okay. Oh, fat kid. Looks like what's his face? I can't remember his name. The guy from the first game. Nakahara. Shimoto? Was that what his name is? Nakahara. From zero and one. Was he in two too? I can't remember. The the guy that was like part of the other Yakuza family. Bald dude. Are you sure you should be out of bed? I kept you waiting long enough, brother. Fucking Japanese Mario over here. <laughs> How are you doing, Nakahara? Yeah, never been better. I'll take more than a little a few little bits of metal to drag me down. Niki, did you learn anything else about the guy who saved me? Yeah, he actually the brother of the man who raised me as a kid. Apparently, he works for the CIA. The CIA? Wait, same guy was uh, the same guy was there when I was uh, st uh, same guy was there when I was st staring down the other side of that barrel. What's what's the CIA got a got a? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> what's the CIA got, get out of shooting me though? Fuck. Uh, they're here on the mission. I can't really say uh, much more than that. Then waiting, uh, wanting, Jesus, the deed to morning glories, Lan has something, I might be actually dyslexic, Lan has something to do with it. <laughs> What's so special about this patch of sand, though? The land itself isn't what matters, it's a, uh, the project, that they are going to build on it. The resort, exactly. That and the military expansion that hinges on the Tammy has a new build. I don't know if I get it, Niki. What's CIA gotta do with building a resort, or this military base stuff? What? You don't know, Mikio? It's simple. The CIA, they, uh, well, want money. That's it, yeah. They're gonna make bank for the U.S. government. Wow. You sure know a lot, Rikia. That's not right at all. The point of this is to smoke out an arms smuggling syndicate, which has been undermining the U.S. for years now. Once the CIA gets them to hold, uh, once, once the CIA gets out into the open, they're gonna, cr uh, crush them once and for all. Since that Nakahara, Daigo, and I, uh, were all just pawns in their plan. 
you find out all about this? I heard it straight from Tamiya, the Minister of Defense. Tamiya? You remember Toma, his secretary? Well, Tamiya says if we save Toma, he'll put a stop to the resort. What do you mean, save him? Toma learned too much about the connection between Tamiya and the CIA, so he decided to take matters into his own hands, and now the CIA wants him dead. Wait, but Toma's mucking up the works. Wouldn't it be better for Tamiya if the CIA actually offed him? Not exactly Tamiya's style. He's far more honorable than that. Hmm. Here I thought politicians would lift a damn finger if it wasn't going to benefit them. Good to know there are some that actually give a shit. Yeah. Anyways, that's why I came back to save Toma. Now I just need to figure out where he is. Alright, relax. What the fuck are you kids doing? Hello, Kiru. It's Tamiya. Hey, any updates? Where are you now? Back in Okinawa. I wanted to stop by the orphanage, but I'm heading out to look for Toma any minute now. There's no need. He'll be at the prefectural office with his av advisors all day long. I died that. <laughs> Tonight, they're discussing the details of the resort deal, Kiru. I expect the meeting to be quite lengthy. In fact, they'll more likely not continue working through the night. As long as Toma's at the prefectural office, he'll be safe. In other words, you can rest easy for now. The real test will come tomorrow. Right. I'm not sure when the meeting will end, but whenever it does, Toma will instantly be in danger. Doji will undoubtedly strike at his mo most vulnerable moment. I have someone keeping tabs on the meeting, though. I'll contact you again when I learn where, where Toma's going. For today, try to get some rest for that battle ahead. I'll expect you need it. Oh, and be ready to leap into action at the drop of the hat tomorrow. Will do. Talk to you later. Farewell. Fairly well. That was Tammy. It sounds like Toma's going to be tied up in a meeting until tomorrow. He's safe for now. Good, good. Gives you a chance to take a load off. Spend some time with your kids. They missed you. You something fierce while you were gone. Hey, I couldn't tell. I have never seen him quite this pumped before. I'm sure they have tons they want to ask you. Second. Anyway, Rikia, we should get going. Oh, right. Hmm. Where to? Just some overnight tests at the hospital. Nothing too serious. Swing by tomorrow, okay? Yeah, sounds good. Be back after we drop the boss off, Niki. Later. Uh, look, if I have to hear another word about Tokyo, I think I'm going to puke, yo. Me too. I don't know how Ayako-chan and Riona are still so into it. Guess girls like hearing about the big city or something. I wish Uncle Cass talked about wrestling matches in Tokyo instead. Bet they show them on TV up there every single night. Uh, maybe not every night. Hmm. How would you know, huh? You're not the expert of to on Tokyo wrestling all of a sudden. Mitsuyo, you've never even been there. Well, neither have you. Grr, shut up. Let's settle this in the ring. We wrestle all the time. Can we do something else for once? Come on, let's just go. Fine. Go easy on me this time. Yeah, whatever you say. Gonna hit him with the pile driver, dude, and paralyze him. <laughs> um. Uncle Kaz, have you seen Tachi around? I saw him run off to the beach with Mitsuyo just now. Why, what's up? Just turned to do shopping today, but he still hasn't gone. Can you talk to, uh, some sense to him for me? Sure, just a second. God damn it, I'm gonna be here for like three hours doing this stupid bullshit again. Tachi ever does this play. Well, yeah, he's a kid. So there's like two missions here, because we have that other one, right? Nope, it's gone now, never mind. I guess we're stuck on this until we're done this main mission. Hey, bitch, Tachi. What do you want, Uncle Kaz? Can't you see we're busy? It's your turn to go shopping today. You can't just keep horsing around all the time when everyone else uh, takes care of you. I don't know, just give me five more minutes, now. But this is a big match, Uncle Kaz. I'll go on five minutes, swear. Fine, you're gonna get uh, going the second you're done. Be in big trouble if I hear you didn't go, do you understand? Same for you, Mitsuyo. Hey, why am I getting dragged into this, Tashi? Let's just go. We can wrestle some more after we go shopping. You're not gonna get away that easy. Take this. Seriously? What a weirdo. I know Tashi loves wrestling, but he really needs to start being more responsible. Let me just drop kick him in the face, dude. Alright, uh... I guess we'll head back. And just all you're gonna hear is like, Oh, fuck! Paralyzed kid in the background. All right. You're the worst, Tachi. Why do you always take this so serious? That's just the beginning. But this will put you out of your misery. Super flying. Tachi kick. Oh, he missed him. <laughs> Pin him. One, two, three. I finally got a win. He's dead, though. Oh, hey, hey. Taichi? Can you hear me, Taichi? Come on, get up. Don't shake him, dude. Boy, knocked himself out. Oh, crap. Uncle Cass, Taichi, sir. So he gets me in a fat little shit. <laughs> Uncle Cass, come quick. 
What's wrong? Tachi fell on his back. He's not moving. What? You gotta do something, Uncle Kaz. Right. You find Haruka and tell her to call the doctor. I'll go check on Tachi. Okay. <laughs> She's lying in the middle of the fucking beach, dude. <laughs> Drop an elbow on him. Tachi, Tachi, can you hear me? Cough, cough. You wanna stop coughing? Gotta get him inside. What, you puncture a lung? Like, what the fuck? How's it looking, Doc? Hmm. From what I can tell, it seems to be a severe case of asthma. Oh. He's never shown any signs of it before. How's that possible? It's difficult to say before a further test, but there are countless possible reasons for the sudden onset. Could be mere genetics, or perhaps caused by something from the environment. Cigarette smoke, pollution, what have you. There are other possibilities beyond that as well. What do you mean, other possibilities? Well, you see, kids these days are subject to a much higher level of stress than we were back in the day. Not only that, but this is child and orphan, yes? Yeah, but this is a simple conjecture, but this could be the uh, uh, rising now as a result of great stress Tachi must have gone through as a young boy. He may still be a child, but I expect there are traumatic experiences hiding just under the surface. And uh, that can seriously cause... All Isn't this the same guy that I just helped seconds ago? It's entirely possible. In any case, uh, sternious exercise is off the table from now on. Uh, we can say with near complete certainty that wrestling was the cause of this attack, but there are no buts to this, sir. Your child's health is at serious risk. Risk? What do you mean? Natural complications of asthma reach far beyond the coughing and shortness of breath so often associated with it. Left untreated, this could very well become a chronic issue for your boy. He may someday be able to breathe on his own. Worst case scenario, it may ultimately be fatal. What? So for the time being, I suggest you take it easy and avoid exercise of any kind until we have the test results. Fair enough. I have no idea this was so serious. Does this mean Tachi's uh, gonna have to stop wrestling and he'll break his heart? Well, let's not uh, go jump into any collusions before we get those test results, yeah? I'm gonna go check on him. This boy just out here walking around in his fucking no shoe having ass. This will go too. Be good to cheer him up somehow. Alright, what's up, bro? Come on, Tachi's beautiful. Uh, how about you and me head out to the nice relaxed mm -hmm. fish? Nah. Oh, well, it's no fun sitting in here, right? Let's get you out in the sun. Just leave me alone. What? You want me to go outside? Fine. Well, let's wrestle. Oh, well, maybe later. Okay, later. More like never. Heard what the doctor was saying. I got asthma. I'm going to die if I keep wrestling. Wrestling is the only thing I want to do. I want to go pro and make tons of money so I can help Morning Glory. It's the only thing I'm good at. Tachi, you just, you're fucking like 12, dude. You just need to find another way. Something other than wrestling, huh? That's not what I mean. Wrestling is your dream, right? Yeah. And you can't give it up, huh? At least set of your dream, no matter what. I, I don't get it, Uncle Cass. Look, everyone faces obstacles on their path through life. It just so happens that your first obstacle you have to face is the asthma thing. So for now, I want you to be patient. Pushing yourself can make it far worse, and running yourself into the ground is no better than abandoning your dreams altogether. I, all you can do now is wait. Stay calm, start making plans for when you get better, understand? Yeah, and you will get better. I'm sure of it. Uh, then once you do, it'll be all systems go on the path to your dream. He's right, Tashi. If you can't do stuff now, you'll be back in, in butt kicking action in no time flat. And hey, watching other people wrestle is uh, still pretty fun, right? No better way to study moves if you ask me. Wait, that's it? I'll put on a special mastery since you're sidelined and all. Ain't that right, Aniki? Uh. Jesus Christ. So, what's this about a special match? Just think about it, Aniki. You and me putting on a mask wrestling show just like they do on TV? You wanna wrestle me? Tachi, I think it's really lift the spirits. True, guess it's worth a try. Oh man, he's gonna love it. Me and Mikio will get started building the ring right away. A ring? You're really serious about this, huh? Of course I am. No point doing something if you're gonna do it half-assed, you know. Don't worry, we'll handle everything. Oh, I'll let you know when we're ready. You might want to warm up first. I got a pretty, I, I got some pretty mean moves. Hey, we'll see about that. If only this gamey wrestling moves. Uh, am I supposed to do something? Huh. He, he just disappeared, dude. He just he just left. <laughs> that boy just took off. Uh maybe if I leave and come back, maybe that will do it. No side missions here. Oh, another fucking message. Probably like, let's wrestle. The ring's ready, yeah, alright. Well, let's head on back then. Alright, it's time to fucking wrestle, dude. Let's fucking throw down, drop a bow on somebody. Where's the ring? Is it in here? No. It's down here. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> let's go. Rings all prepped, Aniki. You ready to rumble? Yeah, let's do it. Sure, let's do it. Dude, let's go change into our costumes. Some of the kids won't see us, right? Dragon Mask versus Ricky Mask. Ricky Mask is a terrible man. He just grabbed to toss him around. Yeah, all right. I can't grab him. He keeps moving. There we go. There you go. Big fucking throw. Pick him back up. Does he even have a health? 
bar? I don't think he does. There you go. Oh my god, he made the enziguri, man. Toss that jerk. Yeah, I'll toss him. Running drop kick. There you go. Running drop kick. Two, two to the price of one. Get knocked down on purpose. All right. Oh my god, he did a jump and dragon run on me. That's not kind of being knocked down. He just fucking knocked me down. Put me down, man. Here, what if I grab him? And let him win the toss. That's probably a work, right? There you go. You gonna toss me? No? Alright. Why isn't this working? I'm confused. Let's get knocked down on purpose. There we go. That time it worked. Alright. Now's your chance, Riki. Use more drop kicks while running. And oh, I was gonna come from the corner and nail you one. It's the thing with the drop kick is it's kind of hard to hit it. <laughs> In case you didn't know. That doesn't count apparently. All right. Oh my god, he's kicking my ass. His gear is way cooler than mine. I'm kind of jealous with the crossbody on me. There you go. Let's execute heat action and win the fight. Oh, German. Jumping German suplex? Well, that's dangerous. Hey, a special move. <laughs> oh, they're locking up. Oh, punch to the gut. Oh, big chop across the titty. Double chop. Oh, hell yeah. Arm wrench. Follow through. Pretty good wrestlers. Big ass lariat. Lariat! <laughs> He's got a fork. Dragon, look out. Great. Tachi. Hold on, I was just super flying. Tachi kick. It's literally just a drop kick. I don't think that's how wrestling works, but all right. And now he dies. <laughs> all right, Taichi. Oh, I feel great. You don't sound great, bro. <laughs> Just remember, kids, if you if the doctor tells you not to fucking wrestle, be sure to wrestle. Hear a sound. Hey, Doc, something wrong? Boy, what does the boy eat before he collapsed? I was just around at lunchtime, so Haruka, what did you guys have for lunch today? Soba. We got them from the noodle shop a few blocks away. Just as I thought the blood test I ran showed extreme that is a fucking quick dude. One day? Not even a day. I ran showed extremely high allergen levels. Me and Tachi's attack was in fact due to an allergic reaction to whatever we had for lunch. In other words, buckwheat. Tachi did keep talking about how good it was. He probably ate twice as much as the other kids. I guess that means he can't have soba anymore, huh? And be prudent to avoid it, yes. As with any severe allergic reaction, it could cause his airways to swell up greatly and restricting his ability to breathe. In extreme cases, he may even go into anaphylactic shock. It's difficult to overstate just how dangerous this could potentially be for your boy. I had no idea, but if we can take uh, if we can take heart from something, it's the fact that he, he ate an especially large amount or so before collapsing. It may be a mere minor allergy in regular quantities. In some cases, people have been known to grow out of childhood food allergies as they mature. You simply never know what the future may hold. Must encourage caution, though. Nowadays, it's very easy to eat a food containing buckwheat without even realizing it's one of the ingredients, right? Imagine he won't mind very much, though. It seems Tachi would gladly give up so bad if he means he's able to wrestle again. <laughs> this fucking kid. Tachi's allergic to buckwheat. Guess we'll need to be more careful what we eat from now on. Still, nothing from Tamiya, too. It looks like Toma's gone. Be stuck in all the meetings all day, just like you said. Oh my god, can we stop? Oh, Haruka, what's the rush? She could really gotten hurt if I wasn't paying attention. Huh? Oh, um, it's just nothing. Just thought I'd go get some groceries for dinner. Perfect, I'll come with you. Oh, you, um, you don't need to do that, Uncle Kaz. I'm sure you're, t uh, tired after your trip down here. Oh, and all the wrestling, too. You should relax. I actually feel pretty fine. That's what you say now, but you'll be, compl uh, complaining later if you don't have any downtime. See you later, Uncle Kaz. Sketchy-ass bitch. That was strange. I wonder if she's really going shopping. Wait, she's not going on a date, is she? Maybe we should see what she's up to. Yeah, why not? Maybe we should see what she's up to. Can't hurt just take a peek, right? What if, it's, if she finds out? Hmm, I should probably be there to protect her if anything happens. 
Yeah, that sounds plausible. <laughs> yeah, that sounds plausible enough. Well, I guess I should uh, head after her. I think she went down to, towards downtown. We have the side mission here? No, we don't. Alright, well, we'll head downtown then. <laughs> Alright, let's go spy on a little kid while she's on her date. I don't know where the fuck she went, but I guess we'll try to find her. Oh my god, is this the fucking girl again? <laughs> oh, Kira, my knight in shining armor. Hey, good to see you. Why don't you come to my room so we can have a little fun? Oh my god, the English handbook mentioned something along the lines. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Make sweet, passionate love, Kira. Okay. Look at her eyes, she's crazy. She's asking for my love. The right answer is... Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, Kira, I knew you were a real man. Now come show me how real you are. Let's go. Oh my god. This is Stacy's room. What a lady. Ah. Mm. Oh, but before you get down and dirty, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. What the? What are you doing here? Let me introduce a special instructor's course only available to value customers who purchase all the handbooks such yourself. Is it a threesome? Once you register for the instruction course, you'll be qualified for 15% profit margin on every handbook you sell. Sounding good already, but wait, there's more. It's a fucking pyramid scheme. You also receive 5% of tuition fees. Remember when I said what it was going to be? For any and all instructors to sign up for the program through you, they'll be rolling in cash before you know it. The instruction course is totally a great deal, Kirisan. Let's become English teachers together. Wait, your Japanese isn't broken at all. You're fluent. Well, duh. And besides, if you sign up for the instructor's course, it can instruct you on a more intimate level. You register now. Uh, mark off some of the additional fees and bump it down to 2,500 yen. 2,500, Jesus. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't give a shit. Why not? <laughs> you made the right choice. Now, here's your instruction handbook. You got an English teacher's textbook. Here is the instruction registration is at the end of the next month. Once you finish that, we can send the promoter's handbook to your address so you can start making the money. Oh, the promoter's handbooks are 50,000 yen each. Let me know when you want one, okay? What? Bye, Kira-san. Oh, before you go, you can have this. This is stuff that'll really get you in the mood. <laughs> totally not worth, but whatever. It's fine. Just waste the 250,000 yen, but I don't give a shit. It is what it is. All right, where the fuck is Haruka-chan? Where the fuck is Haruka? Oh, there she is. <laughs> hey! Good job, huh? Haruka? What is she doing here? Oi! Haruka's there? Okay. Oh, Uncle Kaz. It's it's nothing. Uh, nope. I'm just about to head over to the market. <laughs> she just runs away. That's not sketchy at all. Haruka, wait! What is she looking at? Probably this help wanna post room. She really, uh... If she was really here to go shopping, she wouldn't be hanging around. That's Moochie. There's something fishy here. Yeah, no shit, Kiru. And now she's talking to two guys. Sketchy, sketchy. Boy. This old piece of cake, sweet cheeks. No tougher than handing out a few flyers. You've seen people doing that before, right? Yeah, I guess so. You should be thanking your lucky stars. We're giving you the shot, girly. We, we got kids flooding out, out of our office nonstop. Just begging for a chance to rake in the dough with us. Now, all you gotta do is take these envelopes and hand them over to any old schmuck who asks you for one. Do that, and they'll pay you a cool 20,000 yen. That sounds sketchy. What the fuck is in that... Haruka, what are you doing? Oh, Uncle Kaz, well, looks like uh, that's our cue. Catch you around, little lady. <laughs> he just runs away. What's in that envelope? Who are those guys? Oh, uh, nobody, just some people asking for directions. We'll look at the time. The shopping cart can't wait forever. Haruka! I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, me neither, bro. Oh, there she is again. What are you doing now? That's not creepy at all, Kiru. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, buddy. Be the kid, huh? Give me one. Um, here. Alright. That guy looked like some kind of host. Definitely not the right age to be your boyfriend at the very least. <laughs> Yo, hit me up with that envelope. Oh, right. Um, here. Fucking weird, dude. Well, that's just your run of the mill punk. Definitely not her boyfriend, but you're not the mention the right edge, dude. She's literally giving creeps shit, and you're just sitting here watching. Oi. Hey, kid, I'll take one. Right, here you go. Or she's just, like literally just like pamphlets to like a store. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> no doubt about it. This guy is Yakuza, and the deck is too old. Do you even think about it being her boyfriend? Yeah, well, I certainly hope so, Kira. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, Uncle Kaz. What are you talking to all those men about? Oh, uh, just saying how nice weather is. Nothing better than a beautiful sunny day. Uh, anyways, I really should get shopping now. It's almost dinner time. Haruka, wait! She has to be hiding something. It's just about dinner time, though. She'll be heading home any minute now. I guess she should do the same. I mean, gosh, she's not even going to be home. 
And I'm gonna have to go back and save her from some sketchy, sketchy dudes. Oh, she is home. Okay. <laughs> Uh, she did work so she could buy a fancy dinner. You yaki, huh? We're really like kinks tonight. What's the occasion? I guess I'm just getting better at saving money. No, you went and got a job. I'm not stupid. Anyone home? Sarah, there's something I gotta tell you. What's up? I thought Ruka talking to her two thugs in town today. Almost like she knew him. Just one glance was enough to tell me those guys are no good. Not at all. Yeah, me, I had the same thought, but apparently Kira didn't. Look at this fucking nerd of his bowl cut, dude. Enjoy, everyone. Wow, that was incredible. Yes. Yeah, Tukiyaki's the bomb. Mitsuo, Riona, it's your turn to do dishes tonight. Go get started, okay? Oh, and by the way, Uncle Kaz, there's uh, something I need to do in town, so I'm gonna go out for a bit. No, you're not. It's not safe for a young girl to be out this late. Won't be too long, I promise. Bye. That's. I just said no. I dropped the fucking hammer, dude. There's all suspicious stuff this afternoon, and then what Mikio told me, and now this probably wouldn't hurt to go keep an eye on. No shit. <laughs> oh, Haruka, what the fuck are you up to? There she is. What is she up to? She's getting some money. That's what she's up to. I seen you, little lady. Forgot to mention a teensy tiny something earlier. If you spot a cop strolling over towards you, turn heel and casually go the other way, huh? I'm not doing. Uh, I'm not doing anything illegal, am I? Oh no, 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 not at all. There's just uh, laws about how much a kid your age is allowed to make. Truth is, we're paying even more than we're supposed to. But hey, you need to the dough. We need to help. Win, win. You know what I mean? I guess. Anyways, just do what you did this afternoon, and I'll be. It'll all be blue sky, blue and green pastures from now on. Green lights, cash are gonna rake in. <laughs> I added that laugh because I figured why not. Hey, yeah, we got the stuff. Girl's chilling by a vending machine in the parking lot. Hand her the stacks and she'll give you what you want. Alright. Here, give me one. She didn't even take anything out, dude. Come on now. <laughs> His face. Shit, a copper. Let's just see what happens, yeah? Hey, kid's got a good head on her shoulders. Don't need bastards to inspect the damn thing. Plus, even if they did catch the girl, we'd still be flying sky high. Phones register to a fake name, after all. I take this one over some creepy ass dark web shit any day. You're a freaking genius, Niki. No, it's just what we're looking for, kid. You might even earn yourself a nice little bonus to keep putting the coffers off your tail like that. Oh, really? You betcha. Anyways, when a customer comes, you give him the envelope and take the two grand. If a cop comes, you give him the slip. Pretty simple, eh? Check back in later. Good luck. Thanks. These are the same guys I saw Ruka with earlier. Mikio must have been talking about them, too. Guess I'm gonna have to ask Ruka about them, about them directly. Hmm? This is fucking sketchy, boy. Another sleazeball talking to Ruka. What should I do? Interrupt them? Now I'll step in. Uncle Kaz? She just runs away. Hey, the hell's this? Nobody told me anything about some buff-ass uncle. He got away. I guess all I can do now is wait for the men from earlier to come back. <laughs> she just stands there. Oh, he's back. Same exact guy. Well, I guess I can't interrupt them. Wait and see. If I stepped in, I don't think Ruka would tell me anything. I guess I'll just wait and see what happens. The guy looks like he's walking with something up his ass, dude. Because he cues it through and through. What now? Interrupt them? No, there's no point because we already know she's going to run away. Oh, this sleaze ball. He's like 100. Hmm. Interrupt them? Nope. Jesus Christ, how many times do I got to do this? It's a cop. He's back. He's like, okay. That was a cop. What should I do? Interrupt them? I'll step in for the cop. Why not? Let's see what happens. What's going on here, huh? Oh, no. Hmm. What are you? Who are you? What do you want with this child? Hey, ma'am, wait. 
Haruka, you there. Why would a child run away at the mere sight of you? Let's get down to the station for a few questions. I don't have time for this. Better get out of here while I still can. Oh my god, I gotta run away. <laughs> See ya, copper. You're never gonna catch me. Is this as fast as I could run? Isn't there a run button? I can't remember. It's right trigger. There you go. Except it's very fucking uh, broken. Oh, I wonder where Haruka went. Guess I just need to wait. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I just gotta do the same thing over and over again? Look at this old man. Can't- oh, never mind. Oh my god, you gotta start from scratch? Okay, fuck it. Alright, here's the two dinguses again. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Wait, those are the punks. Who goes with her? Lance Rutherham? Yeah, we're stepping in on this one. I swear to god. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Good work, girly. There you go, ten grand. Don't spend it all in one place. Uh, thank you very much. That's a lot of money. What's this for? Oh, who the hell are you, man? Uh, Uncle Kaz, counterfeit credit cards. You two should be ashamed of yourself for using a child on some two bit scan. Ah, shit, who are you? It doesn't matter who he is. He better get walking if he ever wants to walk again. I'm not going anywhere. Time I teach you what happens when you take advantage of a helpless child. <laughs> Fucking card forging. Okay, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be, so that's a plus, I guess. Catch. <laughs> And good night. Easy enough. Kick their asses. It's all good, baby. What now? Haruka? Hi. Aniki? Rikia, Mikio, what's wrong? Mikio told me all about the fugs he saw on Haruka Chan with, so I swung by Morning Glory, but you, ha you and Haruka Chan were already gone. Heard word about these guys in Hatsumachi pumping out counterfeit credit cards, though, so I figured we were uh, ones Haruka Chan got mixed up with, and now here I am. Um, what were you thinking, Ruka? You could have been in serious danger. I, I heard Uncle Rikia and Uncle Mikio talking about what? They were saying money was really tight. What do you mean? They said the cost to feed us and the rent were both going up. That we might not make the rent this month. Oh, don't worry about it. I got money for days, girl. Things aren't looking so hot, huh? Damn right they're not. There's some figure we're really gonna have to start scrimping. Sucks how quick they spring those rent hikes on you. Can't forget the uh, food bill either. Everyone eats truckloads. Can't afford to spend another yen though. Next month the rent's gonna be tight. Wait to tear for comfort. I get it, I get it. Obviously they're talking about something else, you dumb bitch. But what can we do? What Kiryu and Niki have to say? Don't tell him, I don't want him worrying. So. Maybe if we chip in. Dumbass, we can't help it if we can barely support ourselves. Guess so, huh? I'm getting stuck in these long ass chapters, dude. <laughs> Pointless fucking bullshit stories I don't give a shit about. Yo, uh, you heard all that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Mikio, you got it all wrong. You know, we were talking about the Ryudo office, not you guys, huh? What about the rent and the food bill? You said everyone needs truckloads. This is all one big misunderstanding. The only place they're raising the rent for is our office. Through the food, I'm the only one that's down and eats like a truck, let's be honest. Uh -huh. What are you proud of that for? That's really all it was? What a relief. Are you going to be okay, though? We'll figure something out. First step is putting the big boy Mikio here on a nice little looking diet. Well, if you ever want a nice hearty meal, you're always welcome to Morning Glory. Oh, Paniki, guess uh, this is where we take our leave. Thanks for clean clearing all this up. Nah, no problem. Anyways, me and the boys, uh, will, or me and the boss will pop in tomorrow later. Bye. Get the fuck out of here, chubs. Should probably head home. It's, it's getting late. I'm sorry, Uncle Cass. It's okay, Ruka. I'm just glad you're safe. Oh, and the promise me I'll never get involved in something like that again. I won't, I promise. Let's go home. Alright, so I doubt this will be the end of the chapter. I'm assuming that we have to go save what's his face. Oh, it gets so late. Yeah, yep. It's almost time for you kids to get to bed. I think I'm going to take a bath first. Can you check on the others for me while I'm in there, Uncle Cass? Make sure they're all taking baths and ask how their homework's coming along while they're at it. That'd be a lot of fucking hot water, dude. For all those kids. Yeah, I think I can do that. Unless they're all using the same bath water, which in case that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I hate that I can't run in here. We'll start all the way over here, and then we'll make our way around, just to make sure we have everybody. Literally nobody in here. Okay, just making sure. Alright, you little assholes, time for bed. Iko-chan, <laughs> Iko-chan, I saw the cutest little dog toy at the pet store today. My old dog used to have a toy just like it, so I'm sure Mammy would, would love it. 
Can I borrow some money to get it from him, please? I wonder how much it costs. I only have a little more than 500 yen on my last left. How much do you need, Izumi chan? Um, I think it's 500 yen. Practically all I have left, and there's still a few more days until I get more allowance. Please, my aim's gonna love it. Alright. Hey, thanks, Ayuko chan. Alright. What a good sister. Eh. This fucking nerd. How you Chan? Shiro, what's wrong? My 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 teacher's so mean. Hey, calm down. What happened? He thinks I cheated on her math test because I got a perfect score and it wouldn't believe me when I tried telling him the truth. Just call me a liar and give me a bunch of extra homework as punishment. Grammar homework. I don't get it at all. Don't worry, Shiro. I'll help you out in a bit, okay? Really? Thanks, Aiko Chan. Girl just runs the fucking place, man. Aiko, hi, Uncle Kaz. Have you taken your bath yet? I was just about to. Yeah, I think Hiroko Chan's in there now. To be out any second, I'm sure, by the way, Aiko. Huh? What is it? Just you spend so much time putting other people's needs before your own. Of course I do, if they need me. Oh, I think I hear Haruka chan getting out of the bath. I should go jump in. Yeah, that makes it sound like they're sharing the same bath water. That's that's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nothing like a nice refreshing bath. Haruka, oh. Huh, okay, that's something wrong. Mm -hmm. Aiko, Aiko chan, what about her? Hmm, I see. I mean, it's great that she puts so much effort into making sure everyone is okay, but I'm honestly kind of worried she's not taking care of herself, huh? Why do you say that? Not sure. I just see... I just... Uh, it's just the impression I get. Honestly, I kind of feel in the same way. I'm sure Yuka chan thinks she has to take care of everyone else, and she's older than they are. She almost treats like, uh, like some kind of job. I keep offering her help, too, but she turns me down and I fly every time. Plus what? I think the other kids ask her for stuff they're too afraid to ask me for. They probably think I get mad at them. And Ayuka Chan is so nice that she can't say no, no matter what they ask for. She barely thinks of herself. Yeah, I think you're right. Dog just sitting out here. Bro, I don't care about these kids. Hmm, what should we make for dinner tonight, Ayuka Chan? Good question. I wonder what the others feel like having. Oh, Izumi Chan. Did you end up getting that new toy from Mame? You must have been so happy when you brought it for him. Oh, that? They were all sold out. What about the 500 yen? Le yeah, hold on. Again, I lent you. My friend used to buy some candy. It was so good. What a fucking bitch. What's wrong, Shiro? More homework? Nuh uh. I handed in the homework you helped me with yesterday, but my teacher got real mad because it wasn't 400 words like he said it should be. Give me attention and everything, huh? I didn't realize it had to be a certain length. But I said it right in the top corner of the page. Uh, if you're really gonna help, at least try to do it right. I'm just gonna get even more grammar homework now. It's not very nice, Shiro. I could chance took the time out of her night to help you. You should be grateful. Hey, little shit. <sighs> I don't care. Hmm. Iko chan, wait. Like, I really don't care. Haruka, what happened? Well, um. Mm -hmm. hmm? Where's Aiko? Listen up, everyone. What's going on? Class? It's Aiko, huh? What about her? These kids need to realize how much Aiko does for them. Better t uh, talk to them each. Oh, I don't wanna. Now, who's up? Fucking here, Shiro. Shiro, when you need help with your homework last night, who did you go to, huh? Aiko chan, but no buts. She had her own work to do, uh, or worried about, but she still took the time to make sure you got the help you needed. And what did you say to her today, Shiro? Um, now who's up? Mitsio. Mitsio, oh uh, yeah? Remember that fight you got in the other day? Do you know who went to apologize to the boy's parents? Wait, that was Aiko chan? That's right. She didn't have to do that. It was just a little scuffle. A little scuffle left uh, the other boy with a broken bone. He fractured one in his hand when he fell. <laughs> Yuko apologized, uh, apology is the only thing that kept it from boiling over into a much bigger issue. Oh, I guess that's why she kept telling me to go say I was sorry. Koji. What, me? You, Aiko, uh, you. Aiko will all, always patches you up when you get hurt playing baseball, right? How often do you thank her for that? Well, um... Aichi. Aichi, what? Remember when you collapsed from your buckwheat allergy? Yeah? Did you ever think uh, about who rushed to call the doctor for you? It was Aiko. Actually, it was Haruka, but whatever. <laughs> Zumi. Zumi, uh huh. Aiko gave you 500 yen. You're a little bitch. Uh, to buy a new nice toy for me. How did you uh, think she felt when you told her you bought candy for you and your friend instead? Um. Eerie. Yeah, you and Aiko had a fight the other day, but she didn't hold the grudge. She forgave you right away and still treated you just the same as she always does, didn't she? Yeah. And Riona, finally. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Who gave you those clothes? Well, uh, Aiko chan, so what? She got you those because she knew how embarrassed you were about the burn on your arm. Have you ever been the, that considerate toward any of the other kids sitting at the table? Oh, fucking. She got fucking shit on. I don't think you guys realize how much Aiko chan does for all of us, and you definitely aren't grateful for it. But we're a family, right? We should be there for each other. Agreed. Now I'm going to find Aiko. Oh, 
Okay, Uncle Castle, bring her back and we call short. So much we appreciate her. She's obviously on the beat. I hope so. She better not be in fucking down. Oh my god, she's downtown. Oh, uh, we got a side mission down here too. So I gotta go do that quickly. Hmm. Hmm. What's this doing here? What are you doing, Uncle Kaz? I don't know. It looks like something washed up on the shore. Hey, you're right. It looks like there's something in that bottle too. A letter? Let's see what it says. I need to get some water. That's what I need to do. It's been six months now, Yasu Kun. Six months since you went off for your fishing expedition and never came back. The day for our wedding has come and gone. I stare up at the beautiful wedding gown I was supposed to wear, the one we picked out together. I can't go on like this. Not without you. I'm coming to be with you soon. We'll have her happily ever after, even if it's not in this world. Oh no, wait. Is that a suicide letter? It reads like it, yeah. I think I've seen this bottle before. Yeah, I saw one at a store on the corner of uh, Karyushi Arcade. You did? If so, I might be able to track down. I don't care. Please, could you come? Uh, could, could you? Come on, you have to. You have to go find her and stop her from killing herself. <laughs> so that car is arcade, right? I'll go there and ask him about it. Oh my god. Hey, I found this uh, letter in a bottle. Uh, did you, do you guys know anyone who uh, was, like wrote, wrote it? No, sir. It's a fucking bottle that we sell. Oh, okay. Just figured I'd try to stop her from killing herself is all. This fucking game, man. Hi, Echo, are you up here? Yeah, you are, you little bitch. I don't know where the hell this, like, arcade thing was that they were talking about, but whatever, I don't care. Where are we going? Hi, Echo, I've been looking all over for you. Uncle Cass. And I fucking, I'm warm right now. Come on, let's go home. Of course she's gonna run away. No, I'm not going back. Hi, Echo, wait. Ugh, take this blanket off, that will help. Alright, let's chase her. These fucking missions, man, in this game. I don't know if I have to tackle her or not, or if I just gotta chase her to a certain destination. Kinda of weird to tackle a kid, but... It might be what I have to do. Get your fucking ass back here. She runs so weird. Let me jump. I go so much faster when I jump. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Nothing, nothing creepy about a fucking middle-aged man chasing after a little girl. Nothing at all. There you go. Naiko, I need you to listen to me. No, I'm always doing stuff for other people. I don't care about Morning Glory anymore. Wow. Fucking running music is so good in this game, though. I'm not following her. I'm chasing her. There's a difference. I hate how broken the run is in this game. It just like stops running for some reason. I'm literally just fall, like going with her. I'm not trying to tackle her or anything. The music does not help this. It just it makes it sound sound so much more menacing. <laughs> don't mind me, just chasing like a I don't know a ten year old girl down the street. I go stop running, please. I'm gonna die. Please, just listen to me. Yo, I'm out of shape, dude. I go, please, please. She's, she's right in front of me. Where the fuck's she going now? Oh my god, you dumb bitch. Get over here. This is the dumbest shit. I hate Yuki's the three. In case you're wondering, this game of Garbo, dude. <laughs> It's just full of bullshit filler. Uh, I feel like, like the sub stories in the other games, at least the first three that I've played, are like uh, interesting. Like some could be serious, others could just be fucking ridiculous. And this is main story. These missions. This isn't even a sub story. This is main story. Chasing around some goddamn kids. I don't know if these kids are gonna like grow up and become like main characters in the game that I have to deal with or something. That's the only way I think it to be semi cool is if that's what happened. If they became like main characters or something, but I doubt they do. They're probably just gonna be nobodies. Oh my god, darn it, I'm too tired. Now listen to what I have to say, please. I I go fucking finally. Aiko. You should believe me when I say I'm grateful for everything you do for us, Aiko. So it's super cool, and so are the others. I know they ask a lot of you, and I know they don't thank you enough, but that doesn't mean they don't appreciate you. And it certainly doesn't mean they don't love you, Uncle Kaz. So come on, how about we head home? Yeah, let's fucking head home. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna have like fucking 
Bristol boards with your name on them, and maybe they made a cake. I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. All right. Let's see what they got for you. Everyone. That little fucking nerd up there, dude. Fucking nerd ass bitch. Aiko chan, thanks for always helping me. This is for you. What is it? Shopping coupon. Alright, and thanks for everything. Laundry coupon, oh, I get it. So when she doesn't want to do something, she can get people to do it for her. That's cute. You guys. Everyone's gonna pitch in and help you, Aiko chan. That's the least we can do for a week. <laughs> That's the last one for me. But homework coupon. Who would want that? You can barely do your own homework. That's yeah, just giving her more work. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Alright, can I fucking finish this now? Are we done? Fucking dead morning glory really came together. Jinchiri Aiko up. I have a feeling everyone's gonna get along better from now on. I still haven't heard from Tamiya. Oh, he was supposed to give me another call today. Boy there, brother. Good seeing you, Nagara. How's your chest go? Oh, just peachy. Pass all them flying colors, doubt. Sounds like it won't be much longer until I'm right as rain, doubt. Only if you get enough rest, boss, doubt. <laughs> you should be in bed right now and not out and about. Uh, I can't rest when I'm dead. <laughs> uh, I think he's gonna be just fine. Oh, there's my call. Oh, whoa. Kiru, it's me, Tamiya. I've been waiting to hear from you. Where's Toma? He's meeting with a uh, fucking assembly he just ended. My inf informant seems to believe he's the one. Uh, he's on his way to celebrate with a drink. Perhaps many more than just one. Got it. I have to wonder though. If you have eyes on Toma, why don't you just have your guy tell him what's going on? It seems like the easiest way to protect him. My operative is not only a valuable asset to me, but a prominent Okinawa pol politician as well. Feeling his identity would undoubtedly hinder future progress on the island. Not to mention the fact that Toma no longer trusts me. This is his decision to leave after all. True. He probably wouldn't even think of listening to your informant after that. So what's the plan? Do you know where he went drinking? That's a match, most likely. Any idea what bar? There are several that I, re I recall him frequenting. We hopped around quite a, a few places when he brought me down there. Come to think of it, there was one he seemed to love more than any other. It was a bar, uh, bar that specializing in pole dancing. Oh, it seems I'm having trouble recalling the name pole dancing bar. And that's my actually got it. Please, Kira. Toma, Toma doesn't deserve the fate that Joji would uh, lead him to. I'll handle it. You focus on stopping the resort land acquisition part of that? Part of it, at least? You needn't worry about that. And like most politicians nowadays, I'm a man of my word. Glad to hear it later, Tamiya. Oh my god, I gotta go to the strip club. I'm assuming it's a cabaret club. I'll go over there and he Tell me I just told me where he thinks Toma is. Guess that means you're heading out then. Yep, that's the plan. Can the two of you keep an eye on the kids while I'm gone? Don't you worry, Aniki. We'll watch them like freaking hawk. Oh, and be careful, yeah? I will. Oh my god, there's more sub stories. Oh my god, there's more sub stories. I just can't leave. This game won't let me fucking leave. Ugh, well. Let's fucking get her done. Man, I am so bored right now. Isn't there anything fun we could do? Well, there's nothing on TV, and I checked all the channels. I must have read uh, my manga a thousand times, too. Hey, I, I know. Let's make up a game. Come on, it'll be fun. Hey, kids, what are you three up to? Nothing. That's the problem. We're practically dying of boredom. Oh, yeah? I think plenty, uh, th I can think of plenty for you to do. But you're just gonna make us do chores. And that's even doing nothing is better than that. What about your homework, then? Well, I already finished it. Every last page. Oh, oh I got it. Why don't we play hide and seek and Uncle Cass could be it? No, that's something I haven't played in ages. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? It's good for you kids to play outside. Yes, well, Uncle Cass hot on our trail. This will be the best game of high seek ever. Ooh, I'll go get Yuri Chan too. We can all play together. Sure, it's been a while. it has been a while, and it might be nice to go outside too. Oh, by the way, Uncle Cass, assume you started crying if you can find her too uh, if you could if you find her too quick, so try to save her last, okay? Got it. It's nice for you uh, you to look out for her like that, Tachi. Uh -huh, well, I'm basically the big brother around here. I'm gonna make sure everyone's happy. Okay, you're a chance here. Nope, I couldn't find her Chan, and everyone else is busy cooking or something. Hmm, Zumi Chan, can we hide together? Not this time. Uncle Kaz will spot us in a millisecond. Okay, everyone. You'll have to hide inside and in the front yard. Uncle Kaz here will kindly count to ten, and we'll all hide. Everyone got it? Then on your marks, good set, go. Oh, fuck. Once you find the kids, press R uh, right stick to switch to a first person perspective to make your presence known by looking directly at them. No kid left behind, but you, if you want to call it quits, simply walk out of Morning Glory's front gate. Oh my god, can I just like leave and it doesn't matter? Because that'd be hilarious. 
I'll do my best though. I want to I want to see if I can find a few of them. There's still definitely someone back here. There isn't what the hell What if they're like in the window here? I didn't even bother to check doesn't look like it All right, well, I'm gonna edit out us trying to find them. Oh, there's one right there. What a fucking terrible hiding spot Looks like I found a zoomy gotcha What you actually found me yeah, I did I know, it's keeping so still too. That's not how it works. You're not Drax. Find everyone else yet? Or am I the last one? Actually, you're the first. What? Sniffle, but I was trying so hard to be last. Why? Wow. Hey, now, that's really worth all those tears. I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, there goes the Zoomy. I didn't know that would upset her that much. Didn't I tell you to find a last one, Cass? Come on, right now. Sorry about that. Guess what, Zoomy? Uncle Cass said if you stop crying, we can treat ourselves to some ice cream. How's that sound? Ice cream, really? We can? I'll do anything for ice cream. That's not great. It's in the freezer. Go ahead and help yourself. You know what? Hide better. Don't be such a dumbass and you won't get caught. Guess that taught you a good lesson, huh? Uncle Kaz, at least everything's back to normal. Just happy you got ice cream out of Itachi. Well, yeah, this definitely helps. Anyways, I'll wait here for Izumi so you can get back to doing whatever you need to do. Thanks for playing with us. <laughs> well, that's the quickest way of doing that, I guess. That's a plus. Arf, arf. Isn't it a wonderful meme? Check this out, Uncle Kaz. Uncle Mikio built a meme doghouse. Oh, you actually did a pretty good job. Tell Mikio, thank you. Of course, hee hee, meme. You're one lucky pup. Arf, arf. Uh huh. Meme saying you think so too. That's good to hear. You look. Uh, you keep. You keep looking after him. All right. You bet, Uncle Kaz. Why is there another one? No. No, I don't want to do it. Oh, Sensei, I've been waiting for you. Who the fuck are you, Sensei? The hell? Remember me? You helped me at the burger joint outside the cabaret club. Oh, you again? What did you want this time? After we last met, I tried real hard to get a date, all my own, but no matter what I do, I can't get a girl to go on a second date, let alone a first, so I decided to come here and ask you to teach me how to talk to women. I want you to know everything you know. Will you come with me? Just over there, please. Well, alright. Oh, god damn it. I really don't want to do this. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, right then, what's the best way to talk to women? Why don't you ask one of your friends to help you? They're not good enough. I want to be just like you, Sensei. So what's the first thing to say to a girl? I don't know what the fuck that said. Haruka-chan, she's really cute. So has Haruka-chan seen anyone right now? You want to go on a date with Haruka now? Aren't you like 16, bro? Ask her yourself. Why don't you just ask herself? Call her over. Whoa, hey, Haruka, could you come here for a minute? What is it? Do you need something? Here, I called her over. Hi, uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, when I first laid eyes on you, I thought you were pretty, so, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Got, I gotta help the kids, so I can't go on a date with you. Oh, uh, wait, wait, kids? Yeah, I gotta cook for them and stuff. Keeps them pretty busy. Wait, that means Sensei and Haruka-chan, Haruka-san, are you? Wait, I thought you were my age. Are you that much older than me? What? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, I hate you. What a fucking loser. <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know, man. That kid's a fucking incel. <laughs> that was it? All right. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. All right, I'm not doing this goddamn sub story here. Is it still here? It is. I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm gonna finish this, this chapter once and for all. Hey, buddy, you ever make your way to the Can Canal Grande? No, you owe it to yourself. Check it out. They got the sexy squirrels inside of our Ar 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 My <laughs> boy, do they know how to work a pole? Let me tell you, you mean the pole dancing, right? Yeah. Even, uh, they even have this two-tiered stage in addition to a huge main stage. It's not like anything I've ever seen. A lot of customers pay to visit them whenever they find themselves in Okinawa. It's just down there at the end of the street. Canal Grande, eh? All right, fucking finally, Jesus Christ. Of course it's not on the map. Why would it be, right? No, I don't want to fight. I do not want to fight. Oh my God, I hate this game. I fucking, I fucking hate this game so much. All right, we made it to the strip club, finally. Only took seven years. Now we get to get demonetized by this music, probably. <laughs> oh, God damn, dude, this fucking game, I tell you, man. It's the shits. Yeah, dance. Keep dancing. What even is this music? Can I skip this? Because I really don't care. I cannot. The game's like, it's time to get horny. You're not allowed to skip our cutscenes. <laughs> We worked really, we worked really hard on these, these cutscenes of very clove strippers. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Let me out, please. Let me save Toma. Oh, there I am. I actually made it in. Like a scene in Batman. Where are you at, Toma? 
to get to save your ass. Hopefully it's just a fight and this is a fucking chapter ends because I've been here for two hours now. According to this bullshit, I'm freaking save your Okinawa, baby. You're something. You're something. The island future is brighter than ever. Everyone's gonna remember the legend of Toma. Doubt. Oh, here he comes. Oh my god, he's gonna shoot him in plain daylight. Oh, please tell me I'm gonna hit the pole and like swing around and land on him. No. Well, aren't I the best? Of course I am. Now, come on, bottoms up. He's like, welcome to die. You better hurry up here instead of just staring at him. That's a good idea. That's so tough now, aren't you, Toma? Don't do it. Tamiya told me everything. Why you shot Nagaharo and Daigo? When you're about to put a bullet between Toma's eyes, or why, I should say. He's gonna kill me? No, he's just pulling a gun on you for no reason. Temiya sent me to stop you from making this mistake. I don't care if I came to the top of the CIA, this can't be what you want. CIA? Are you surprised? Then that means... Mr. Temiya is gonna have me killed. No. No. Quite the opposite. Well, that could have been a headshot if you wanted it to be. Not another step. Joji. Are you really going to kill Toma? Because I'm a Kiru. Yes. You of all people should know. When your chairman tells you to do something, you damn well do it. What? The CIA is my chairman. They say I need to kill someone, no matter the target, I'm going to kill him. Alright, boy. Settle down. I'll see you in hell. Bitch, why not shoot him the first time in the head then? You had the opportunity. And instead, you fucking shot beside his face. Go! Run, Toma, run. You little bitch. He was like so calm, cool, and collected the first time, wasn't he? What do you think you're doing? Stopping you? Duh. Save Toma, and now it's your turn. That's the promise I made Tamiya. Tamiya, huh? He was always so naive. Not killing anyone else, I'm gonna make sure of it. I'm merely following orders. You wanna stop me? You know what comes next. Yeah. Death. There's only one way to solve this with our fists. See why my brother took a shine to you. You're brighter than you look. But his blood flows through my veins. Can you truly fight me? I don't see why not. Let's find out. <laughs> blood isn't what matters, though. Me and Kazama san? Our bomb is far stronger than that. Remember when he killed my parents? Show me then just how strong it was. Like, what a fucking weirdo that Kiru is. <laughs> he killed my parents, then sent, sent us all to an orphanage. It's kind of fucking weird, dude. Look some cult shit. Now, Kazuma Kiru, we fight. Alright. Kick this guy's ass real quick, don't mind me. Joji Kazama. Oh my god, he kicked me off the fucking platform, dude. What the shit? Some action movie shit right now. Oh my god. Settle down. I press Y instead of A. Oh, alright. Don't see ya. <laughs> Not this time. Alright. Xbox loves me, apparently. There we go. I kicked him in the dick and beat him. That's all that matters. That took... Too long, because this game's fighting his ass and you don't have enough heat maneuvers to really do damage. Even when you hit him with a heat maneuver, it barely does any damage. 
Just a grind of a game, I tell you. <laughs> I'm too old for this fighting a young man's game. You put up a decent fight, you old shit. If you were any younger, I'm not sure I would have won. Dead? No, nope, he's, he's fine. But you did win. Or just like Tammy asked, I'll stay away from the kid, I promise. Don't think that's how that works, bro. The kid? Oma. What's it, his kid? Kirisan. Minister Tommy, I really ask you to come here? Yeah. Save your life, but why? Why would he put you through so much just to save me? Because he believes in you. Tamiya mean, cares about you. He does? He does. But why? I betrayed him. But for me, Tamiya will never lose faith in you over something like that. Imara just had devoted to you, are to Okinawa. He told me as much. And not only that, he thinks he'll flourish into a great politician someday. Cry a little bit more, bitch. Minister Tamiya. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't give a fuck. Finally, holy shit. Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed that chapter, let me know in the comment section below, even though none of you will. And I will catch you on the next one. So until next time, bye-bye.